describe the shape. If you look at this, these are you know, pretty much cylinders. Okay, in this video, let's talk about volume. This is how we are going to do it. Let me show you. Suppose we have a curve right here, and suppose that we are given y is a function of x that describes this curve. And it's similar to the area video that we have. Well, in the area situation, we want to find the area under this curve. So that means you go down from the curve to the x-axis, so you want to find the area of that region. That's the easy situation. You just have to integrate, and you just pretty much do y times dx and all that. Here's the deal though, for this kind of volume situation, we are going to do the following. We are going to take that region, and we are going to rotate that about the x-axis, and that's the easiest situation when you have y as a function of x. Once again, I will take this right here, once again, this region, and I'm going to rotate about the x-axis, so the picture is going to look like this. Well, what you can do is, you can just kind of mirror image, and you just kind of practice your drawing skill like this, and you do this and that. That's pretty decent. You can see that's like a 3D picture. So this is an easy situation and we don't need to no, we don't need anything too fancy to do it. The only hard part is that if you take this region and rotate about the y-axis, that will be the more difficult situation. And the easier way to take care of that situation is what we have to show method. But in this video, let's talk about the following. So here I have a bunch of this, which you know maybe some of you guys haven't seen this for so long because you know these are uh, you know, have been outdated, of course. Anyway, describe the shape. If you look at this, these are you know, pretty much cylinders, right? Well, the idea is that I'm going to pretty much cut this volume, this uh, solid, this way, and each little cut is going to be a small cylinder like a CD. That's why this is called the disk method. And let me also write this down on the side for you guys. Remember that the volume of a cylinder this right here is just pi r squared because you have the area here and you have to multiply by the height, like how tall this is. But since we're talking about something that's really thin, like a CD, I will not put down the height, I will put down thickness. So that should remind you, we're just talking about a little change. Anyway, the idea is that you put the CD this way, right? So, I will draw the little picture here. It's really similar to the area video. We still do this, but this time you are going to draw a disc like that. This red part is meant to be a disc. And the idea is, once again, you're just going to enter a bunch of this disc, and each disc, they have different radius. That's the key. Now, I'm going to focus on getting the volume of this red disc. Once again, pi r squared times the thickness, and let's take care of the thickness. If you look at this right here, the thickness is this, which is just a small change in amount in the x values. Therefore, this is just dx. And for the radius, well, as you can see, here is the center. Radius means you go from here up. Here is the center. The radius means you go from here up, and that's pretty much the y. And you might be wondering, hey, I didn't really touch it, but you know, this is supposed to be really thin, so the y is pretty much right here. Once again, similar, it's seriously similar to the area video, right? So that's pretty much it. Now let's write the volume of this red disk. We will have the thickness is dx, so let me just put that down right here. And then the radius is the y, so we will have to just square the y. And then pi is just a pi, that's pretty much it. Well, well, we have to add up all of this disk, so we will have to just do the integral. And we are in the x world, so we have to go back to the picture and see maybe the beginning x value is a. So I will say, hey, we have to go from x is equal to a up to the ending x value that says b, where x1, x2 doesn't matter. That's pretty much it. So if you do this, you can get the volume of this solid. And of course, if you would like, you know why it's not invited in the x world. So just put the function in here, and that's pretty much all. So in the end, we see that the volume is just a to b pi times the function, which is f of x. Let me just put this down in red like this, f of x. 
square that dx. And as I said, this is the easy situation. The harder part is that you take this region and rotate about the y-axis, or maybe rotate about you know, y is equal to negative 1, or you take that, rotate about x is equal to 17, things like that. This is the easy way. Yeah, this is the easy case. All right. On the other hand, we might also have x being a function of y. And you see, if you look at it this way, okay, that's like the graph of x as a function of y. This is not a graph of y as a function of x because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. Anyway, when you have this situation, the easy way to do it is we want to rotate this region. Suppose you go from here up to here, that region, about the y-axis. So you just go ahead and do this to remind yourself we are rotating about the y-axis. And to draw the picture, you pretty much once again just mirror image. You'll see like this. And then on the top, do this. On the bottom, do that. So this is like a face. And this is, I don't know, like this the other way. I don't know. Yeah, you can leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this kind of picture. This time, we are going to put a bunch of CDs horizontally this way, isn't it? So we are going to draw the disk this way. Don't just fo focus on the formulas. Seriously, focus on how we approach solving the questions because later on, when you guys do some work in some physics questions, this is the technique that we use, right? Anyway, here's the deal. You draw this red disk. It's a horizontal slice. Now you have one CD. You want to find the volume of the CD. The thickness is dy this time because this is the small change in the y uh, values. So you put on dy. And the radius, you go from here, the y-axis horizontally to here, and that's the x. So the volume of this red disk is just dy for the thickness, and then x for the radius. So you have x squared, and then you have the pi. So this is just one of them, not good enough. We have to add up all of them. And you have to pay attention to the y values. Let's say we start at c up to d, like that. So you integrate this from c to d, and this will give you the volume in this situation. And lastly, of course, x is not inviting in the y world, so just put that back here. So in the end, you see that the integral c to d, pi is pi, and we will have g of y, square that, dy. And this is also an easy case when you are doing the volume. So this is it, and be sure you guys watch my next video because we'll be talking about how to find the surface area of this kind of solids. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe and also recommend me to your teachers, friends, students, babies, LA Dodgers, and Boston Red Sox. Anyway, that's it.